Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here with another Marvel Future Fight video guys. Today we're going to talk about the new event, the Collector Vault. But before we get with that, with that guys, quick reminder, make sure to always check the description below the video for the link to our current giveaways guys. We always, always, always have giveaway guys going on, so make sure to check the description, guys. That even give you an extra reason to support the channel by subscribing to the channel and liking this content. Because the more you guys do, the more shit we can actually afford giveaway. So, guys, talking about this event, let's go with the nuts. Then along the way, we're gonna share our our opinion on what we can actually see here. Greetings, agents. This is a CM Pregnant of Marvel Future 5. We have good news for agents who want to use their goal efficiently. We have a Collector Vault event where you can get very rare items for sale. The event will start on March 12, 5 p.m., March 13, 5 a.m. PDT, or March 13, 12 a.m., and March 13, 12 p.m. UTC plus zero. If you purchase a variety of items within the vault, you get a chance to obtain mementos. Anton agent collect all four mementos within the vault. The agent will receive the special rewards, and later they will contract contradict this sentence in how to get those special rewards. You're gonna see, guys. It is a pretty Terrible description somewhere in there. We don't know if everybody has a chance to get it or only one person has a chance to get it. Still, we don't know because this is a bow way. Lastly, I have news regarding all new CT Plea. Please check the infographic below for more information. And we're gonna take a quick look at this CTP when we get there, guys. Don't worry. So, the vault schedule we already covered that. There's two rounds. Um, it opens for an hour when it actually opens, pretty much. So, Collector Vault Participation Guide. Once the vault opens, you can enter the Collector Vault room on the lower part of the game main screen. Upon entering the vault room, you can now play which vault. You can now plan which vault to enter. So. You go with the vault you or the item you want. If you want a mega rank up ticket, mega tier two ticket, a CTP a veteran, or a mega uniform ticket, you pick your room, you go in there, and you try to get that special items. Uh, if the collector vault button is not visible on your main screen at the starting time, guys, just go to another screen, come back, and uh, it should be up at that moment. Upon entering a vault, you can now press the purchase button. Upon clicking the purchase button, you will acquire an item at random. See here, guys, we have a few items on the screenshot. You have four um, mementos, and you have a bunch of other shit, pretty much. Well, that's pretty much what it is, guys. <laughs> now, we're going to see a better look at the rewards pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon. Okay, once you acquire a Memento item, the one with the purple dot on it, um, the Memento of the purchased item will disappear and you will not be able to acquire another Memento with the same item. However, however the Memento item that had a Memento icon before will still be available even though the Memento has disappeared from it. So, for example, you could roll 10 times here and get uh, cosmic cube 10 times 600 custom cube but you only get one memento from it you know if you're really lucky and you get all cosmic cube just an example here guys and you can see it on the screenshot here there's a purple square in the top, but, um, on the top left corner of that a yellow square and then on the second picture there's no purple icon anymore so that's pretty much how it works See, that's where I, I was talking about, guys, here. The first 
agent who can acquire all four mementos of four different memento items in each vote will get this final special reward so now they are telling us guys they are they are only one agent per round so two ctp in the old day that's going to get away so only one agent per round that will actually be able to get each special rewards compared to earlier they were saying aunt and agent collect all four mementos without the, vo the vote the agent will receive the special reward so here they are telling us you know all you gotta do is get your four mementos and you get the special rewards then here they tell you that only one agent is going to be able to get all uh, the special rewards so they contradict themselves i don't like when they do that it's terrible and i think it's a terrible setup that only one agent in each round can actually get that special reward and that give a big advantage to that person that's going to be very lucky and those are all those are the people that wasted like 50 million gold for nothing basically uh, because they were trying to get that. I think it's a terrible, terrible, terrible setup. I think that everybody should be allowed to uh, get that special rewards. You know, maybe put a, a go cap. You cannot spend more than 50 million. If you get your four mementos, congrats. If you don't, well, better luck next time. I think that will be better. More people will actually get lucky and get that special rewards. I think that will be a little bit better. That's just my personal opinion, guys. I don't know how you guys feel but that, that's all I feel here we have the feature uh, items we already covered them and you have the what is in every single uh, room specifically and honestly guys if you do not get a special reward I chance you're gonna get screwed up with gear up kits dimension debris norm storm three stars diesel three stars uh, enchanting uh, enchanted euro chest you know so many bad things in there that I don't think this event is worth it guys we're gonna have some wells that are gonna jump in there and get their shit you know it's totally fine but everybody else is gonna get screwed by doing that like seriously here the best reward six stars rank up to get okay that's okay that's a decent reward mega six stars messed mega uh, six stars mega master to get that is a terrible reward a special reward in this one custom gear chest mythic wow that's okay nothing impressing on that I can build uh, one every day of that by myself so it's not really really hard and the other one the other one that's pretty much the best uh, regular rewards the best the best best rewards you can actually have in those room uniform upgrade ticket mythic by one I think that is actually the best one you can actually get there but how many people are actually going to get that how many people are just going to get gear up kit and dimension debris and norm storm i think you guys get my point of what i'm saying here uh if you get lucky it can be a very 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 good uh event guys but for about 90 percent of the community that's going to enter those vaults they're only going to get crap and they're going to be uh, complaining about it uh, obviously everybody complains when they get bad RNG it's just normal but um, yeah people are going to be complaining about it because they will spend I don't know spending 50,000 uh, gold for 20 gear up kits uh, I'd rather go hang myself in the closet guys to be honest okay now this new CTP of veteran you get it in your dodge rate guard break immunity and increase critical damage by 32% the, in your dodge rate is 32% the critical damage is 32% and you get immunity guard break then you get all attack and defense increased by 28% those are the max stat by the way guys then you get activation rate 15% chance when attacking apply to self increase chain it by 40% uh, when attacking then generate a shield is a shield that is 30% max HP and ignore cancel and pierce effect and increase damage by 150% for one attack for five seconds. This CTP 
can only be obtained through those ads through this event so basically after uh, March 13 guys there are only going to be two CTP of veteran in the whole game in the whole game this is an amazing CTP with the best stats guys it is amazing maybe not as good CTP of rage and I think the CTP of energy uh, at least violence battle extreme is going to be a little bit better than that but this is an, an amazing CTP you know you're building characters just for a uh, wall boss ultimate example yeah? and for example when you want him to be good in both game mode you know PVE and PVE and PVP at the same time uh, I think that will be the actual best possible obelisk for that kind of situation but only two in the wall guys two ctp of veteran in the wall i think that's bullshit that is bullshit here guys totally honest totally raw it's freaking bullshit guys i cannot use bad, worse language than that because uh, i'm a star agent guys and i have uh, rules to respect but uh, that's what I'm saying about that. Now they, they finish here uh, with a quick reminder. Purchasing an item inside the collector vault consumes 50,000 gold. Only a fixed number of agents can go inside a vault at once. A vault contains 8 basic items, 4 magneto items and a special reward which is the final reward. Once the special reward has been acquired by an agent, the vault will automatically close. So you join the vault, like you pop one item and the first one that enter just got his CTP of veteran. Well, boom, everybody out on what I can understand here. There are eight kinds of basic item items av available for purchase in every vault. Basic each basic item can only be purchased by a limited amount. The more basic items that are purchased, the chance of an agent to acquire a memento increase as well. If you leave the collector vault while it's in progress, you can still re-enter the vault and it will remain in a state where it as if you did not leave the vault. So again guys, I think this event is not good at all. I think this event is pretty pretty bad. I'm really disappointed in that marble to be honest for creating this event. I think this is not a fair event. The the players that has the fastest internet, that has the best device will have an advantage on people who have a slower device or slower internet guys that is for sure um, you know the first person to be able to go in and pr smash that button and then boom get his four momentum is pretty much what's going to happen so it's going to be a very stressful event for people who actually try to go in and most people will feel frustrated as hell for not being able to compete there um, you know because of their slow device or something like that or just bad RNG I, I, I don't know man I just think this is a terrible event I don't know if you guys agree with me but that is my personal opinion guys and on that guys Star Agent Starco Gaming is out